Hi everybody, Sam here. So today we are going to create two different types of dry erase-esque presets. Now the new Minicam did just come out with a really cool dry erase feature or dry erase board feature. It exists outside of your presets and you would use it by using custom area uh, desktop if you wanted to use it within your classroom software. I think it's going to be phenomenal if you are a Zoom teacher uh, or you're using Google Teams or something outside of a um, company's software that you need to use to teach. So since my company, is, since I teach through a company software, I am going to choose instead to set up presets, two whiteboard presets that I'm going to use with my students. And that's what I'm going to help you with today. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just choose an empty preset. I'm gonna scroll over a little bit here so I just have more empty space for you to see. I'm gonna just choose a preset right down below here. I'm going to click on the plus sign. This is going to be a basic whiteboard preset we're going to do together. So I click left click on this plus sign and I'm going to go right here to where it says color source. I'm going to click on color source and I'm going to choose the color at the bottom, which is white. Now you can watch this preset come to life right now and it is just a plain white preset. I'm going to transition on over to that. I'm just going to hover and click on transition. So now I have this plain white preset, not ideal for teaching because the most important thing is missing from the preset and that is me, the teacher. So what I'm going to do is hover my mouse right on this live screen and right click to bring back my list. I'm going to go to the bottom and click on manage. No, nope, lied. I'm going to go to add new layer and it brings up this you know, TV looking layer. I'm going to click left click on the plus sign and tell it that I want this layer to be my webcam. And here I am. Now, if you were using a regular background, you would be fine right here. This is what you would have. Your background would be in uh, behind you. Everything would be happy. But I do chroma key. So what I'm going to do is choose to get rid of my background. I'm going to click on my layer. That's the layer we want chroma key to affect. And I'm going to go to virtual backgrounds, turn on virtual backgrounds and select chroma key. And now I'm just gonna click away that green. As you can see, there is a back, uh, there is a background behind me. This is one of the new backgrounds Minicam has put in. I love it, I think it's awesome. But I'm going to go to this drop down instead and choose transparent background. I don't want anything behind me other than this white. Okay. Um, so you can go ahead and just draw all over here if you would like, you know, just drawing, you can change the colors. It's just a basic use of your drawing tool. Another cool feature, what you can do is throw text and be able to type. So that's what I'm going to show you how. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually selected on my back layer. So see how I could choose me or I could choose the back layer. We want to make sure we're on that white layer. I'm gonna turn the text box on. Now it's hard to see, you can kind of see this little uh, grayed area underneath me right now. If I was to move it up a little bit, you can, you can kind of see it. This is my text box. Um, and if I was to click on this background here, next to your font here, you could see that it, it's like the opacity. So you could see how it's a little bit darker. This is just showing you where my, my um, text box is. What I'm actually gonna do really quickly is just make this text box blue just for the sole purpose of being able to see my placement for you. I'm going to move the text box up and I'm gonna drag it down. And again, I only made it blue right now so you could see where the text box is. I think it's a nicer visual, right? All right, now that I have it, I'm actually going to go back into where it says, where it shows blue here over to the side. And I'm going to choose this checkerboard instead, which means transparent. And I'm going to grab this little blue dot and slide it to the left to make it completely transparent. No, you know, we don't want it to be opaque at all. All right. So now there's a text box here. You can't see it right now. It's a little line above my head that shows you where the edge of it is. Your students never see that part. Now, I'm going to choose my font to be, I don't know, 18 point, you do what you want. And I'm going to choose the color to stay black. I think that looks great. So now, if I were to start typing, uh, my name is Teacher Sam. 
room. Okay, you can see that I have a really cool dry erase board for my students. I can practice sentence structures with them. Um, we can go ahead within the same time, we can uh, use the pen and we can draw whatever we wanna do. Um, this is just a really cool way to have a dry erase board. You don't have to worry about a real dry erase board bouncing light back to your camera. So here is one slide. Let's, let's uh, go ahead and set up another. All right, so now what we're going to do is set up a different preset that's going to look a little bit more like a traditional chalkboard. And the way we're going to do that is I'm just gonna open up Google Chrome. You can use Safari, you can use whatever it is you open up. And I'm just gonna search for something that is like a blackboard background. Uh, and I'm going to just pull up some images here. I just clicked on images. So here are some really fun options that show up as uh, a blackboard background or even an old school chalkboard. I kind of like that look. So I like this one right here. You could choose obviously whatever you like. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to right click on it and choose to save image as left click. And I'm going to just save it to my desktop. And I'm just gonna call it chalkboard. Making sure that it is indeed a JPEG image. I hit save. I gotta clean some stuff up on my computer. Y'all are seeing way too much of my things on my computer. All right, now if we take a look over here, I have a file called chalkboard. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use this preset right next to the one I created. I'm going to hit the plus sign. This time, I'm going to choose right uh, here, images and videos, okay? So before we used color source, this time I'm using images and videos. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop and I'm going to select that chalkboard. Now, if you look, that slide now or that preset has become a chalkboard. Let's go ahead and transition to it. There we go. Now, I really want this to fill up the whole screen. I'm going to click right here and just unlock the layer and drag it up a little bit. And I'm actually going to zoom so it really does uh, fill my layer a little bit. Let's zoom out a little bit more. <laughs> And you can just kind of play with it. If I actually made this layer, there we go. Just drag it and spread it out. There we go, perfect. Oh, I like this one. I'm keeping this one. Okay. <laughs> now again, same thing. What's missing from this layer? It's me, it's the teacher. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to scroll down to add new layer. I'm going to click left click on the plus and I'm going to choose my camera. I missed and here I am. Okay, and once again, you can stop here if you have a regular background. I am going to turn on my chroma key and I would like it to be a transparent background and now I'm gonna click, 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 click. All right, see, isn't that kind of neat? So now I, here I am in the classroom. All right, so we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to put in our text box. So. I wanna make sure this layer is not selected me. I, I don't want the text box in this little box with me. I want it to be in the background. So I click on the background. Now that layer is what's selected. I turn on the text box. You can see here it is, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to fill up the space that I want. This time I'm actually going to choose, oh, and then, sorry, you wanna click right here again next to the letter A, and you wanna slide that opacity down to all the way to the left. Now again, these little lines here that we see your student does not see. You see it right now because I'm using a screen recorder. But when it was in your classroom or if it's live, your, your students wouldn't see that. I'm gonna choose my font for this slide to be white. I think that's gonna look best. Uh, and I'm going to again, just choose it to be at 18. So now if I was to type here, my name is teacher, maybe. Sam. You can see it looks pretty cool, right? It's it's a whiteboard. Um, I'm sorry, white font on a green background. And the same thing. You could go ahead and, and you can draw. You can change the colors all you want. You could do white uh, and you can have some shapes with your students. Just clear uh, to cancel and you can delete out your font. And there you have it. Two different ways to have a whiteboard or create a chalkboard type preset for your students to help you teach. I use this every day in every class. And I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.